my name is Raj Prakash. People call me Raj. Uh, I'm a chief executive officer, co-founder of Zafo, one of the one of the member of the founding team. In true sense, I really want to see myself as a custodian of the Zafo dream. Zafo is a dream to me. It's a dream to build a company which is clearly science first and people first. And I'm in in all I do in this company is really holding those dream, nurturing this dream, and spreading that dream. And that's that's all I do. And everything else is in safe hands, Jude. I founded Zafo when my eldest son was born. He is roughly 14. That's how I see Zafo. Okay. As you grow, there's a certain phase you constantly outgrow the dress size because you grow faster and an organization it a plateau. The branding is almost like what you wear and your identity. And that's a living thing. It expires and you constantly refresh. I felt we have reached a certain size and we have outgrown a brand and we clearly we need a new identity for the future. We're stronger, bolder, more powerful. That's exactly why we wanted to do it. And we'll constantly evaluate our relevance. Probably what we have done is a perfect thing for the next phase of Zafo. See, the uh, industry, the market, it's an interesting time to be in the space. With all those newer things happening in the drug discovery world. Gene therapy, DNA therapeutics, cell therapy, personalized medicine, individualized medicines, and fantastic things happening in the devices world. The kind of innovation that we see in the material science and the chemical industry. And the growth of the energy industry. It's the right, right place to be in. There's so much of investments and actions in terms of digital transformation and automation. Zafo has been pushing in a unique way to bring together this industry expertise and a technology expertise, blend it together and deliver great value. We build a brilliant, strong platform. We work with several, several large farmers, biotechs, chemical companies, oil and natural gas companies. It's an interesting time to be in the space. I see this as a golden decade and we are well positioned to make an impact there. And with a huge differentiation, which is as if a culture, a culture which is based on curiosity, the philosophy of listening. We have a huge opportunity for the next 10 years in my opinion, Jordan. Two and a half years was an interesting time period for Zafo. There's certainly a boom for this industry. But there are companies like Zafo which built a beautiful, credible, strong platform pre-pandemic. And we were able to take advantage of that, really pick up, use the demand and grow up faster. I think it's much more in terms of what we have done before the pandemic in terms of investment into people, into, into a system. A clear science first, people first mindset, what we have built really helped us to deliver great value during this period. See, we have clearly established a platform, very strong platform in terms of geographies. We operate in the US, Europe, Japan, China and India and in terms of industry. Very strong customers and farmers and biotechs and devices industry. The, the FMCG and the oil and natural gas industries. We've already established this platform. Strong offerings, strong customers, fantastic people. 
The next phase is clearly a scale up from here. I'm very excited. I'm very sure we'll reach greater rights. See, I, uh, I've observed multiple times, if you look at leaders and managers when they work with the team, it's all about pushing the team. I'm very clear we operate differently in terms of our environment. We call it, we will never want to be an EPO playing a volleyball. Let me explain what that is. I want you to imagine an EPO. Small ears, large mouth. You talk a lot, don't listen. It's just not talking a lot, it's also playing a volleyball. I watch this volleyball, compare it with a throw ball match. A volleyball is all about constantly trying to punch the ball to the other side. If you watch a throw ball, it's all about catching the ball, getting a good handle, confirming that you are in control, and throwing it back almost like asking a question. We are a system where leader managers very clearly demonstrate behavior which is not people playing a volleyball. It's about listening. It is certainly not about having small ears, large mouth, and punching at the other person. There are two elements. Very clearly, we wanted to be a clear people first company. A people first in terms of building an environment where people love to work. Work is stressful. The idea is to make sure create an environment which is less of politics and an environment where you can be yourself. And right from the start, we are very clear we want to be science focused and adulterated focused into this environment. We have been true to that statement right from the inception. And what is really important to me is growth. Growth is very rejuvenating. With growth, there's a lot of opportunities for everyone in the system. Opportunities to develop, opportunities to grow, opportunities to ex explore, and opportunities to make an impact to our customers, to the market. So, people first, science first, growth is always important right from day one. In my office in Chennai, I've actually made a, a portrait of three people and very recently, and made, and gold-plated, love those portraits. There's three people who really inspire me the most. On the left, it was Nelson Mandela. His mindset, his thinking, an approach towards reconciliation, to think forward into the future, not to become a prisoner of the past. It's amazing. Second one was Mahatma Gandhi. Just cannot believe the kind of things he's done with a very large nation. It's a disproportionate canvas in which he operated. To me, Gandhi was so clear about his vision. He's an example for a great program manager and an influencer. The third character there, it's an imaginary character. It's Andy Dufresne from the movie Shashank Redemption. It's such a therapeutic feeling when I watch this movie and his mindset is very inspiring. And these are three characters I have it in my office room. If you ever visit my office room, I would love to show those portrait pictures.